Hey guys, what is up? This is Austin from The Crypto Gym. And in today's video, I want to talk about Moonchain a little bit more here. In the previous video, we talked about how to add the Moonchain ZK EVM and the Geneva test net to your MetaMask. Now in this video here, I want to show you guys how to get some test tokens for the test network. So the first thing in order to get free tokens, this step is really, really important. You have to make sure you like this video, comment down below and subscribe. Just get it, of course, you guys don't actually have to do that. But the first thing I want you guys to do for real is go up to your MetaMask and go and switch over to the Geneva test net. So we're gonna drop down here. We can search for Geneva test net. Moonchain Geneva testnet, and we're gonna click on that right there. So yours should say zero right now. Of course, I tried some before the video started, but the link I want you guys to go to is geneva-faucet.moonchain.com here. And it's gonna look a little bit like this. Of course, I might change it up stylistically, but it's gonna look basically like this here. And then all that we have to do, super simple, is we're gonna go up to our MetaMask. We're going to copy our address, and we're gonna paste it just like that there. Then we're gonna click on I'm not a robot, as long as you are not a robot, we're gonna fill out this thing. Oh man, here we go. Motorcycles, does that count? Does that count? It's a man on a motorcycle. Do you count? I don't know. Next. Okay, look like it worked. All right, and then we're gonna click on send me MCX. And it looks like the transaction went through. We can click on this from here. And this is gonna take us to the Geneva Explorer on the Moonchain network. And we can see we have some of the details out of the transaction. If we go up to MetaMask, it looks like it's still finalizing, but we might see it in here. Maybe not quite yet. Okay, it looks like it went through. Let's go back to MetaMask. And it looks like it went through. So that's all you really need to do to get some of these test tokens on the network. So now let's talk about why this is important. Like what's the purpose of this token here? Well, it's important to understand this token, this MXC token is the native token on the network. So basically what that means, if I have a different account with zero MXC in there and I try to interact with a contract or deploy a contract, I'm not gonna be able to do it because the native token on the network is MXC. So just like on Ethereum mainnet, the way that you pay for gas is with Ethereum, the way that you pay for transaction fees on this network is gonna be with MXC. So I went ahead and grabbed a few more tokens here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send some tokens to another account. And we're gonna see that there's some additional tokens being spent for transaction fees here. So we have 1458 and some change. I'm going to send 100 to a different account. So let's just click on a random account here. Let's send 100 to this account. And we can even see through MetaMask, it's detecting that the estimated fee of this transaction here. And we have 37, some change, MXC. We're gonna hit next. And we're going to confirm this transaction. So we can see the transaction down here now. And we should expect to see more than 100 tokens being out, taken out of this account because we're paying for some gas fees. And now we can see that 100 tokens and some extra tokens were taken out of this account here. The total was, looks like 138 and some change here. We can see that that is more than the 100 that I sent because some were spent on gas fees. So the point I'm getting at, if you wanna do anything on this network, it's important to have MXC token because that's how you pay for gas fees. So if you guys want anything at all, be sure to give me a thumbs up in this video here. I look forward to making more videos on Moonchain and I will see you guys in the next video on The Crypto Gym. Take it easy guys.